Okay, now that we have service, what is the first thing we're gonna Google? We have such a long list. <laughs> we have a long list of Google me rights. Where did Nixon go? Oh, I guess we should Google how the coronavirus is doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna check and see if they're gonna accept us and let us on land. Please accept us. It We've is pretty been alone for so long. <laughs> hey, That's the, exactly why they should accept what's us. What's the pork taco? Carnitas. I want Please. some El Pastor. Yeah, and I want and margaritas. margaritas. You're just gonna live off of margaritas. That's all I want. <laughs> Days were passing by us. You could say that we've seen a whole day from sun up to sun down now, and we were reaching our halfway mark. We spent our time sitting back, enjoying our incredible scenery, reading, playing games, editing videos, watching movies, learning new hobbies, or just staring off into the horizon. We had rocked into a routine and had settled into it rather nicely. down once again for us in day 13 of our passage up to Mexico and we're doing our 19th, uh, yeah, 19th sail change so far of this trip and the boys are getting ready to put up our asymmetric downwind sail which has been our hero sail to be honest. She flies pretty well in lighter hey, winds hey, and yeah. Would you come watch the um, main halyard and make sure it goes through everything yes. right? Nice. What sail are we putting up? We're gonna do Ace, the asymmetric, our colorful, uh, what do we call it? The um, circus tent? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we're gonna put that up, but we have to bring in all the other sails first. Drop everything first. Okay. It was a constant battle with the sails. Having the right one up for the appropriate winds, needless to say, that kept us rather occupied during the entire passage. Every time you say that, I think you're exactly right. <laughs> like in Pulp Fiction when he goes, a please would be nice. <laughs> may, I, may I please have about a 15? Let's try a 15 first. That's the bilio. Okay. I was in our master cabin and I heard a creak, which could only really have been coming from the engine compartment. It's only the only thing on this side that could be um, making any noise. And sure enough, I get in here and this, um, the, the control arm for the shaft, for the rudder, is loose. It moves up and down, it's already moved, and it could, it's loose. I can't believe it's loose again. We've messed with this thing off and on for the whole time we've owned the boat. Let's try a 16 and 17. This arm on the shaft is loose. That is no bueno. And right now I'm gonna try and fix it while under sail, I don't know. Did you so, fix it? Yeah, luckily we didn't have to drop the sails because this thing is moving back and forth constantly. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to 
tighten it. Let's check the other side and then put it all away. You're my hero! Crisis averted. <laughs> What would have happened if it wasn't? We wouldn't be able to steer, right? No. We, well, we would have one rudder, but this one would not would be inoperable, and that's not good. Then we definitely would have had to drop sail. Man, a fairly calm morning has let loose on us. It is rough. Woo. It went from 14 knots to 26, 7, 28. Man, we got a big squall rolling in on us. heard the motor just turn on and full throttle right away and I thought oh that's not good. They were having a huge issue trying to bring down that sail and they waited too long to pull it down because this squall just full on just showed up and it is right behind us. I mean I can just see this wall of water shooting down and also lightning which is definitely not my favorite thing in the whole wide world. The lightning's 10 miles away. Okay. The lightning is what scares me, man. I don't mind getting wet, blown apart. Just building around us per usual. I just hope it passes through us quicker so we can just get out of this. Just the jib out and it's partially reefed and we're still doing six and seven knots the winds calmed down a little bit to about 25 knots but man it is quite a different morning I mean two days ago we were just sitting in the calmest water you've ever seen and now we're in storm conditions it's fun that's sailing I could do without the lightning though for sure so the gale, we experienced winds over 35 knots, has passed over us and so the boys are putting the sail back up and we'll just continue sailing. <laughs> um, but that was quite a wake up call this morning, lovely, now some coffee and we'll just keep on making our way to Mexico. Okay, right now that's pretty good. Yeah, let's give it a second. Actually, Trevor, I think that's really good. Woo! All right. Back, I like the sail. Back in action. Okay. Back in action. I waited too long to take down the, um, the asymmetric. And it was a nightmare, man. Trevor and I both had to wrestle it down. I wish we would've gotten that on film because it looked like two monkeys trying to, well, you know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> First gale. Oh my God, that was saving shit. <laughs> my very first instrument and I have no idea what the hell I am doing. So I pre-downloaded some YouTube tutorials on literally the basics. Uh, I don't even know chords or how to put my finger in a strum. And I'm gonna attempt to learn the ukulele and I promise you it's not gonna be by the end of this passage. Uh, but at least it's a start and it's something to do while we were going. So bear with me, it's the very, very beginning. Well, 
Well, the wind has shifted. It is uh, moving up towards our 60 degrees, so onto our beam a little bit. And we just have to change the sails because this sail that we had up the asymmetric is not capable of sailing under conditions that are beyond less than 90 degrees. What's happening? Oh. Boat clean up. We, just, uh, we got a big old storm heading our way. Uh, <laughs> that looks really nasty. It looks pretty nasty. It looks pretty big on the on the radar. I might even shower. We need a oh good... God, thank God. <laughs> Somebody's been answering my prayers. <laughs> what was that? Three minutes we were sitting there? Three minutes. What do we got now? Six. 23 knots. 23 knots? 23 knots. From 0 to 24, 25. There's 26. Wow. Guest ever it takes water use it's really serving. serious. <laughs> Boy, that was a nice little storm. Really washed the boat off well, and now it's just beautiful out. Things are super low. Yep, but beautiful. Love those little storms like that. Well. I'm getting ready. We just had pizza and beer because that was our two week mark. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have chocolate and gummy bears. We had one beer each. <laughs> halfway day, halfway, halfway day. day. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've been out here for two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, oh God! <laughs> oh my God! That's Bean bags. <laughs> oh, perfect. I think timing. we've been out here a little too long. That's yeah. very. Yes. Sounded All like right. a, a narwhal whale that we saw over there. Okay, perfect. You guys hear that noise? The motor. We've been motoring all night. Looks like we're going to be motoring for another couple days. Um, we got a <laughs> we got a weather report from Jean Luc yesterday that said that the wind's going to be dying, which it has, for about a week. <laughs> so we do our best not to bitch too much, but there's nothing that drives me more crazy than having a motor. Um, well, the whole point of this is to get to sail around and have a carbon neutral footprint and be off the grid basically and burning through a bunch of diesel fuel and putting hours on the motor it just drives me crazy. Not having the wind that we hoped for is so frustrating, it just breaks my heart. So we've changed our plans. It looks like we're not gonna make Cabo, which is heartbreaking in its own. Um, just not getting to get to our destination is so sad, man. It's, we're gonna peel off and head straight toward land. It's about 200 miles at this point after what we motored last night. Um, so it's a couple days of motoring and that means that we'll be able to refuel and work our way up the coast, which also means that we won't be sailing. The whole coast is a dead zone always. It has no wind, it's not great for sailing. Yeah, so we're gonna change it. We're gonna end up in Zewataneo or possibly Acapulco. We'll just see what happens over the next, they're close. So we'll see what happens over the next couple days. Then we'll refuel. I actually have to change the oil in the motors because we've just put so much time on them. If you guys have been following along with us, I mean, we put a lot of miles on the boat over the last two years. We're in our second season now. We started in Grenada at the very lower end of that whole island chain coming up the Caribbean and into, um, Bahamas, then Florida, Cuba, Mexico, Belize, to Guatemala. We spent the hurricane season in Guatemala. Then we did a really arduous journey 
out away from Nicaragua and down to uh, Colombia. So that was our only other open ocean journey. We have over 6,000 miles under our belts now, so a bit of experience. I mean, we're still definitely learning, and I think what I'm realizing is the sailing is the easy part. Honestly, sailing is not that difficult. Um, knowing the weather and the and the wind and weather patterns, knowing the currents, and being able to plan for all that, that's the difficult part. That's, that's where the true um, skill comes in. I mean, sailing's easy enough to learn is what I meant. It's not easy, but it's easy enough to learn. So yeah, that's the plan, that's the update. It's okay. Find out the rest of the crew's thoughts, feelings, emotions. Hi, honey. Tell me, honey, what's up? Well, You're I feeling know. much better, aren't you? In terms of just... Better than I am. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you're putting too much on your shoulders about it. And mm. I know it might be too cliche to say this, but it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Fair enough. And, you know, we knew going into this, it wasn't going to be an easy trip up. It's just a slog, like we're having yeah. to run the motors a lot. And but yeah, I mean, we've had not so many days of wind in our favor and yeah. just adding adding more time out here than we expected. The other thing is like what this all means, the trickle down effect, like well, well then what? The, how does it affect us and you know, it just means that we're going to be putting another 200 hours on the motor, motoring up, so all that fuel, I'm going to have to do another oil change once we get to our destination, plus it's going to take us another three weeks about three weeks to motor up the coast and get up there. Two to three weeks. It's crazy. It is crazy. Spent three weeks out here. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, man. I know you're disappointed. But I am still, a little disappointed. I'm pretty proud of us for doing what we're doing. Like this is just another chunk that we've bitten off. It's definitely a learning experience for sure. There's you know, no doubt. Every bit of it's a learning experience. And yep. Despite all the factors given to us, we're doing the best that we can. We're still getting to see beautiful places along the way. I know. I mean, the beauty that we've seen on this trip has just been amazing. Like, we have just been really... What we didn't get in consistent winds we has definitely been made up for by turtle visits, dolphin visits, amazing bioluminescence at night, amazing sunrises and sunsets. I mean, the natural beauty out here is amazing, mm -hmm. for sure. Test what we're capable of, too. Mm -hmm. yep. That's beautiful in itself. I agree. What we've done together is beautiful for sure. Being right. so hard on yourself. All right, all right. Okay. Bacon and pancakes today since it's Sunday. So that's a big plus. That'll <laughs> lift the spirits. Thank God we have enough of that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Say Wataneo, here we come. This is our Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, 
shit! We went through our first gale. Gale, gale. <laughs> it's a sail of a gale. Babe, you can't. You're just... supposed to say it. No, you... oh. and you can't.